Talk to me. Hey. What are you doing? You're not gonna investigate, Angie? Uh so just calm your tiny tits and shut up. She got bit, man. Shut come on, bro. Please. Shut up, you. My chest is way better than your nasty cow orders. Thank you, bro. I'm saying, they're way bigger than hers, bro. I slowly undressed and handed my clothes to Samugi. After telling me to look the other way, I waited while she changed into my clothes. Yeah. We are back here on some more Danganronpa V3. In the last video we did, we left off on a cliffhanger. Uh, one of the students died. Uh, we're gonna try and start up some of the trial, as well as uh, the investigation, of course. But he just finished. He just died here, and we finished the last episode here. <clears throat> and this is where we left off. I believe she's talking to Kokichi here. Why are you getting excited? You're not into dead bodies, are you? Actually. But is it true? Is one of us really the culprit? Hmm. The odds are a 1 in 15. That shouldn't be hard to figure out. Don't screw around! That's not the problem here. On your knees! <clears throat> Who's the fucking culprit, huh? Is it you? Or maybe it's you! Uh... Right now, I think it's Kaido, bro. <laughs> I feel like it's gotta be one of the people who are walking downstairs. And Kaido was down there, and I've always been suspect of Kaido this entire time. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who's the killer? Only a 2 and O's. Weird! No one can choose that way. How it's not exciting. It's not Gonta. I know Gonta was one of those people, but it's not Gonta. Ah uh, ha ha. Everyone's competing to see who's the most paranoid. Yeah, that's not boring. That's wrong. Wait, wait, stop. We can't do this. We can't go back and forth accusing each other. Uh um For now, we need to trust each other and start a serious investigation. Huh? Don't act stupid, Kaide. What do you mean, huh? What do you mean, huh? Hey. She's starting to piss me off, bro. I'm sorry, but she she was one of my favorites. Now she's just going down the drain, bro. Right now, it's Suichi, Ryoma, Gonta. I low-key liked Ron, Rontaro, too. That's crazy. Suichi, Gonta, Ryoma, and Maki, bro. Those are, those are the ones right, right now that I'm, I'm feeling. If we all lose our trust in one other, in one other because of this, it'll, it's all over. We have to believe in each other and investigate this case. Huh? Investigating this is the same thing as not trusting each other. No. No, it's completely different from what Monokuma wants us to do. He wants us to throw accusations at one another and lose all trust in each other. But... And we can't let him get a, get what he wants. We need to investigate this murder, not because we don't trust each other, but because we do. Alright. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, did I say something wrong? You were just so direct and assertive. Uh, um... Uh, no. I just said what was on my mind. Yeah. You really are a detective. Now that we need to invest... Now that we need to investigate, you're becoming super reliable. Alright! I agree with Suichi. Actually, he just said exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> Males are degenerate creatures who betray others easily, but I'll trust you this time. The only good thing about males is that girls give birth to them. Allow Gota. Gonta not smart. Not sure Gonta be much help, but Gonta do his best for everyone. I... I will work hard with Atua's guidance. I'm much happier alive than dead anyway. <clears throat> she was also saying some sus stuff in the last episode, but I don't think she would sh be strong enough to hurl the ball. That's right. Which, by the way, the murder weapon we seen was a freaking ball we saw in the last episode in the where warehouse. And I said, I said, what if this is the murder weapon? And it ended up being the murder weapon, bro. Ultimate Psychics, dude. I can't change what has already happened. All I can do is what must be done. Otherwise, Rantaro died for nothing. I have to do it. I won't give up. We will all escape from here. I'll make sure of it. The way you're talking, well, you're you're about to not escape. So let's get started. I guess. We need to do this. So poor Rantaro won't have any regrets and so we can survive. Okay. Yeah. Let's find the culprit who killed Rantaro. Yeah. You're right. Let's do it. Thank you, Suichi. So much has happened in such a short time, and I haven't been able to keep up with everything. But I know that I need to fight back against this class trial to protect everyone. <clears throat> Yo, if my voice sounds even more dead than it usually is, it's because I just finished filming Fall Guys. Uh, the brand new season just came out. Oh god, now I gotta do Monokuma's voice. <laughs> hmm, this isn't quite the mood I was expecting, but... It's okay, at least you, now you guys seem like you're getting into it. <laughs> You again? The fuck you doing here? <laughs> Hoo -hoo. Don't be so crude. I've come to bring you all a wonderful present. Oh, it's gonna be his. It's gonna be like the. What's it called? I forget what it's called. But it's the 
the status of death. This is giving me the heebie-jeebies. A notebook that will kill anyone whose name is written in it. Come on, bro. Come on, Spike. This is not death, though, bro. Could... <laughs> Horrible dialogue, bro. Horrible dialogue. Yeah. Whoops. My bad. It's a Monokuma file. That's what it was. You did that on purpose, didn't you? The Monokuma file is a detailed report that summarizes all the info about the dead body. But there's no info that would point to the blackened, because that would ruin the trials. I don't know, maybe you guys will find it useful since you're not experienced with investigators, you know. I sweet to say otherwise, bro. Don't screw around! <sighs> Monokuma file? Like hell, am I gonna believe something he made? No. Prime suspect, bro. Prime suspect. <laughs> Whether you believe it or not, it would still be prudent to examine it, it con its contents, no? Atua has spoken. Atu <sighs> he says we shouldn't take our eyes off the monopad. I'm looking at I'm looking at him insane right now, bro. I'm looking at Kaido crazy. Yeah, I think we should read it. The file has all info about the victim. I wonder what it says. <clears throat> The victim is Rantaro Mami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered in the library. 9.10 p.m. The estimated time of death is 9.10 p.m. Yo, we have photos. That's a thing. We have photos. We gotta look at those photos, Suichi. The victim was subject to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull. Re resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. So, he didn't kill himself. This is confirmed now. He didn't kill- I, In the last episode, I was saying he might have killed himself. I don't know how, but he might have. But that's confirmed he hasn't killed himself. It was at the back of the head. He got snuck attacked. Snuck attack? That sounds- That's not right. But he got- he, It was a sneak attack. <laughs> Alright. Truth bullets. It doesn't say whether or not he's the mastermind. Well, that's obvious. But the killing game is still going on. So, I'm gonna assume he wasn't, right? But if Rantaro wasn't the mastermind, then who is? I have my opinions, I'm not gonna say who it is. It's- I don't think it's Kaido, so I, uh, cause I'm suspect of Kaido as a killer, I don't think he's a mastermind. I know it's a little late, but saying this makes it real. Rentaro is really dead. That's right. This is the mastermind's fault. No doubt about it. The mastermind killed Rentaro. That's- Mastermind? I'm sorry, what are we talking about? Please. Kaide, please explain what is going on and spare us no detail. Yeah. I will. No, you won't, man. No, you won't. <clears throat> Suchi and I explained to everyone. We told them about the possibility of the mastermind hiding among us, and about the trap we had set out in the library to lure them out, and that someone got snagged in our trap, so we came to the library to check and discover Rantaro's body. That is all true. That is all true. Understood. But I see. So that is what happened. Well, she didn't say it, though. So that is what happened. I was not aware you two had planned such a thing. Yeah. <clears throat> so you used those cameras I modified for this bullshit? But you know... But, why would you keep something so important a secret from us? <laughs> Once we knew one of us was the mastermind, we'd start fighting over who it was. That's why you two were afraid of it, wasn't it? Yeah. That's right. But... But, if, the, uh, if there are cameras, won't this case be solved really easily? Oh man, that's so boring. Wait! Your amusement is the least of our concerns. We need to check the cameras right now. The culprit should be in the pictures. It'll be case closed. Then... Alright, let me go get the cameras. I'm curious, man. What's on these cameras, bro? Suichi quickly retrieved all three cameras and rushed back to everyone. You see, he needs to be keeping this to himself, bro. Remember what Kyoko said in the first game? Remember what Kyoko said in the first game? She said, never, like, like you need to do investigations on your own. So we all have clear and decisive evidence that we can all bring to the trial when it comes. You don't want to let everybody know right now. Especially if the killer's among you guys. You don't want to let him finesse you guys. Okay, I've got them. Well. Is her hard removing the camera that Kaede set up? She really taped it down there. Down well. Because. Well, I really didn't want that camera to fall. Since it was aimed at the moving bookcase. <clears throat> Remember. Here, it's these, it's these three cameras. Uh, um, now we just have to develop the film. I will do it. Allow well, me to perform that task. No, bro! She's also being suspect! I don't- Was she one of the three people who- Or one of the seven people who were down there? Because I remember last time when she was like, Wait, what? We're gonna do a class trial now? She's also suspect right now, bro! That's amazing! Wow, is there anything the ultimate maid can't do? Yeah, get out of this class trial <laughs> alive when she gets caught! I heard everything you said. If that's what you need, just leave it to me. Huh? I'll do it. I'll 
I'll develop the photo so you bastards can focus on the investigation. Because if you guys get punished, it will be way too gory. Stop it. Hey, don't butt into our... But she ignored my ejection, walked up to Suichi, and took the cameras from him. I'm okay with this because I don't want everybody to see it, bro. I don't want everybody to see it. we got to do our own singular investigation. I am a strong, sensual woman. Do not under underestimate me. She could finesse the photos, but she's not going to do that. Hey, give those back. Leave it to me. No need to worry. We'll all have to follow the rules. We won't do anything underhanded or devious. So I'll let you know when I'm finished developing the photos. Alright. Sounds good. I'm, I'm okay. Wait, give the cameras back. No, Kaede, let it go. It was pointless to yell at her. Monofani left as swiftly as the wind. Oh, my. Oh, there she goes. Uh, no, that was important evidence. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was being careless. Um. It probably okay. She has. She says she developed photos, then give photos back. That's right. And she said she had to follow the rules, so I don't think she would destroy the evidence. Sheesh. Looks like we've got no choice but to believe that. Cause Atua is watching It's important over us. to believe. Atua only shows mercy to those who believe. I hate this chick, bro. Uh, God, um, she is annoying. Kaede, I know you're worried, but you can trust me. We just have to be patient. No. That's not all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. Yeah. But now, we're just in a bigger mess. A mess we have to see through to the end. Hey. Kaede... I have a proposal for you. What kind of proposal? Is that all right? If it's all right with you, could we keep working together during the trial like we're doing now? Huh? I'm... I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you as a detective. What is this lovey-dovey-ass freaking Twilight Princess story, bro? No, I... I want to help you. Then help Should me, bro! You? Stop making it seem all like, bro! Of course, with you at my side, it'll be like having 100 people helping me. All right, bro, Thank can we you. start? Can we start the investigation? Thank you, Kaede. Um, hey, so I don't care about this mushy stuff, so let's get started already. He might be also up there with my favorites, bro, because goddamn, he's like the only... Like, I don't care about this, bro. Let's just get started already. I'm feeling him too. And try to take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. Thank you, bro. Okay, he's cool too. It takes a lot of mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. What do you think? Before we start, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate by ourselves. Why? Huh? Why? In other words... If we let the culprit work by themselves, they might try and destroy the evidence, right? Uh -huh. Oh, you're right! Since the culprit is one of us... <laughs> <laughs> if each of us watches the other, no one will be able to hide any evidence. My apologies. I don't intend to offer a suggestion that would further arouse suspicion, but... Logical. No, that's logical. Please speak your mind, Kitami. That's right. It's not something you should you should be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be killed. Yeah, we have to do it. Once we expose the mastermind, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it. <clears throat> Investigation time. Let's get it. First thing I'm doing is I'm talking to Suichi. Suichi, what what should we do? <laughs> he said we were. E hey, Kaidi, do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. The door was closing. Means whatever happened, it was re very very recently. It was closing. The door was closing. I saw a moving bookcase closed on its own, right? Hmm. No one, no one even touched it. So how did that happen? And here's why I also think it's Kaido. Kaido was right outside that room in the hallway. He was just standing there. She was he was standing with that chick as well but he was oh my god he was standing there in the hallway he could have killed him and then ran out of there that's why the bookcase moved because he was right there bro yo this is a fire song bro this is like box 15 remix this is clean no one even touched it so how did that happen i'm a sucker for jazz bro that's the thing i love jazz all right let me get this i love jazz bro Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Oh my god, this is a fire song. So we should move the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Oh, take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase, I see what he's talking about. It closes. Yeah. Oh, it closed on its own. Wait, the bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. I see. 
I see. The bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. <clears throat> okay. Alright, I see. But wait, if the bookcase closes itself after you enter the hidden door... Oh, maybe it's the reason why the bookcase closed itself. This was my first theory. My first theory was whoever killed him ran into that door, but whoever was in that door had to have been the mastermind. So I don't think the mastermind killed him because only the mastermind has access to there. So that's why my theory is debugged. It was because the mastermind was hiding just past the hidden door. That was my first theory, but that doesn't make any sense. Especially if Kaede thinks that's what makes... If Kaede says it, that's how I know I'm wrong. You're right. After killing Rantaro, they ran through the hidden door. It's certainly possible. Let's check that now. Huh? Huh? How do we check that? We checked to see who's not here, but everybody's here. Remember. The dust in the car reader, remember? Let's switch and move the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. We lean in to get a closer look at the gap of the car reader. Huh? Huh? The dust is still there. You're right. It looks like the car reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. Hmm. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? No. No. I remember exactly where I put the dust. This hasn't been moved at all. Okay. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind did not go through this door. Um. Then the one who moved the moving bookcase at the time was... Rantaro himself? No. I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. True. There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. Again, also true. Carbure your dust has been added to the truth bullets. I see. Well, I still think the mastermind is the culprit. Um. So we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the mastermind. I, bro, she's pissing me off, bro. Stop with this mask. We'll end the killing game that way too. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Suichi thinks she's a fool, bro. I don't blame. I don't blame, bro. I don't blame. Um. All right, moving bookcase. Moving bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. By the way. You guys set up a security sensor on top of this bookcase, right? Uh, okay. Y yeah, it should still be here. Be there. Let me check. So you climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase. Remember. It's still here. I should take it down now. Oh. Moving it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's alright. I turned the receiver off. Huh? You can turn it off? Okay. Yeah, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind would still be inside and I didn't want to alert them. I see. I see. Smart thinking. Alright, receiver on Suichi. Okay, receiver on Suichi. That's an interesting uh, truth bullet. Uh, near the body. <clears throat> Pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but shouldn't we investigate Rantaro's body? Uh, um... Yes. If we want to find clues, we have to. But if it's too much for you, Kaida, you don't have to, okay? No. No, it's fine. I can do it. All right, she's better than Makoto in that sense, because Makoto couldn't even look at Sayaka's dead body, bro. My mind was set, and I started to walk towards Rantaro's body. So this is int So the blood is splattered on the floor. He got hit from behind. The blood is splattered on the floor, and there's also someone in the camera up there. Last time I saw Rantaro, he was alive and well. Hmm. Why did Rantaro die here? Huh? What do you mean, die here? Like, why was he looking Remember. here? I mean, if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, why was he looking at the books? That's the thing, he was looking in that direction. He was looking in that direction when he got killed. That would mean he came all the way over at here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Why would he do that? There's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Are you okay? Are you okay? You've gone pale. Although I guess that's normal. We have to investigate a body after all. The body of someone who was alive and talking to us just a little while ago. See, now you're now you're you're making it seem like it's too much, bro. You just gotta no. just zero it out, bro. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Rantaro's sake, but also we can avenge him, and so we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey, um. Kaede, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I am sort of a detective af after all. Jeez. Sort of. You are a detective, remember? Uh, okay. Right. I hate I hate bro's confidence. The fucking cannonball, bro. The cannonball was literally in the room. Um, I know we need to examine his body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay. I can do it. Can I play as him, bro? Suichi showed no hesitation as he began to examine Rentaro's body. Hmm. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blunt force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The, the Monokuma file is accurate. 
This must be... <laughs> Alright. Ladder in the music. This must be the fatal wound. Um, so we can trust them on a Kumafa? Uh, okay. Yes, for now. Tsuji's then stuck his hand into Rantaro's pocket. Huh? What are you doing? Uh, I'm checking what he has on his person. There might be a clue. If we're going to do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you, after all. Uh, How can you say that with so much confidence? Come on, Kaede, pull yourself together. Hmm. Rantaro had in his possession the key to this room, and the student handbook monopad. <laughs> The monopad is definitely his, and it's the, exactly the same model as ours. Um, he didn't have a card on him? A card key on him? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Uh, and Rantaro really wasn't the mastermind. Hmm. If he was a mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the card key. So, with what we know, that is most likely possible. Why was Rantaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Yeah, talk about the bloody shot put ball. We saw this in the warehouse. Bloody shot put ball on the ground. Could it be? The shot put ball. Could it be? Yeah. yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. There's blood all over it. Hmm. That's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. You're right. The shot itself is heavy. You would have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon. Exactly. Which is why I feel like Kaido again, bro. Kaido again. Something has bothered me. Why didn't Rantar Why did Rantaro come to the library? It seems likely that he is not the mastermind. What reason did he have for coming here? I'm guessing it has something to do with what Rantaro mentioned earlier. He said he was going to end the killing game. He said I was going to end the killing game. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real That's the real goal. I should have done his voice. My bad, guys. Hmm. Ending the game itself. Could it be... Then it's possible he noticed the hidden door in the library, just like we did? Huh? What? Uh, um... He might have come to the same conclusion we did, that the mastermind would come here. Um... You mean he had the same idea as us? No way! He should have told us! We could have worked together! I collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my frustration. No. No. He probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. And that's a good suspicion to have. I have you, Kaede, but Rantaro didn't have anyone he could trust. Hmm. That might have been the only difference between me and him. As he said that, he offered me a hand. I took his hand, and he firmly pulled me up to my feet. Remember. Kaede, let's go. Sorry, I have an itch. Uh, we can't waste time now. You're not going to g you're not going to give up, right? You're going to save everyone? Yeah. Suichi, she over here crying and shit, bro. Like, wipe your tears and, and figure out who killed him. He's right. I can't give up now. Suichi. Thanks. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Huh? Suichi's right. We can't give up until it's over. This is, bro. Come on, man. Investigate the body. I'm not here for this for for this fucking love story. I have to- I can't stay depressed forever, I have to get, help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation, we gotta find the mastermind. That's it, that's why I liked Makoto and Kyoko the most, cause they didn't get all emotional and shit, bro. They just did their thing, they did their thing, all emotions aside. They did not simp, bro, they were- oh my god. Alright, let me talk to everybody right quick. First of all, I'm talking to you, cause you're also kinda suspect. Why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood perk? Huh? Uh, I don't know, maybe cause you were nervous? Cooper must have killed to survive. So it's, so it's odd that they would not step forward. Mm. True. I wonder what that means. That's true. I can think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is the, cul the culprit's objective wasn't to survive. It was to kill everyone here. Huh? E everyone? That is correct. That would explain why they would forego their survival in favor of a class trial. Um. But doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch to you? I agree. I think it's simply because they were nervous and they didn't know if they could believe Monokuma. Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly plausible, but I don't think that's the case. Yeah. It's definitely not the case. Well, true. Killing us all does seem like something the mastermind would do. Yeah. So we cannot lose this fight. Even even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. I think it's just a more matter of nerves. They didn't want to trust Monokuma. Alright, let's talk to Miyu. I don't want to talk to Miyu, but... Trashy skank! <laughs> Alright. Don't talk to me, Crotchitch. I'm fucking busy. Miyu continued ignoring us while she fi fiddled with the controller. Huh? What's that controller for? Ah. Dun 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 dun. It's a prone. Um. Prone? Um. I don't mean to butt in the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Actually. If if it was a prone, it'd team up with the rest of the gang ganglion alliance to destroy humanity. I have no idea what the hell she's talking about. Then... Wait a second, the controller is... <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting it, dick cheese. 
She laughed obnoxiously and, and pointed her finger upward. I love her laugh. Her laugh is kind of funny. Ha! What the? Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Mila Bruma. She's a little too full of herself, though. Yo, Kaida, your eyes look crazy right there. Why are they so big? It's a drone. A drone. I told you that's a drone. If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't either. When did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for. So I modified this RC plane. I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photos. But what is the point in this if the kill has already happened? From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> lost 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 i'm lost drafting a floor plan with photos we see the floor that's amazing i'm sure this will help the investigation how we know what this looks like out of my way the only problem is i'm not used to operating the drone and talking taking pictures with it Jeez. you should be you shouldn't be proud of that and if you don't hurry the investigation will end soon Bitch. i can't do shit about that so just calm your tiny tits and shut up she got bit, man. Oh, come on, bro. Geez. Shut up, you. My chest is way better than your nasty cow orders. Thank you, bro. I'm saying they're way bigger than hers, bro. <laughs> Fuck you. What did I do? You pissed me off. Actually, you're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. Damn, that was the weakest roast ever. All right, let's talk to her anyway. I don't know who killed Ran- I don't know who killed Rantaro, but it's Monokuma's fault it happened. Because he pressured us, this happened. That motive he gave us part is part of it. And so, is that strange music? This music was, was eerie as fuck. This like from Squid Game, bro. He played that music at such high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. Uh, okay. It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I yeah, that Loki would make me go fucking crazy. I'm not gonna lie. If I heard that song, I would literally go crazy. That's a- That was a really eerie-ass song to play. I bet- Someone felt pressured by that and killed Rantaro. I could agree. <clears throat> it's all Monokuma's fault. Um. Anyway, we have to stop the mastermind, so this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. Okay. <laughs> Look at the drone. Promotional video BGM. Interesting. That's a part of the truth. Alright, we've discovered everything here, right? Oh, wait. Nope, this dude. <laughs> Ryoma. No, I didn't mean front bookcase, but whatever. Tons of books are crammed into the bookcase and arranged in various stacks on top. Hmm. It doesn't seem as if anything has changed since we set up the cameras. Remember, the books that you stacked up haven't moved. Yeah. You mean the ones I stacked to keep people from going through the vent, so no one went through the vent? Yeah, those haven't left alone. All right. Stacked books. Oh, I want to know too. <laughs> Come on, Suichi. Ah, uh, no. I'm sorry. I can't say anything yet. Thank you. Not cool. Even if you knew someone, don't say it. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's gotta be. Yeah, Kaido. <laughs> uh huh? Jeez. But you're afraid of that? You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. But, but with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others more? <laughs> and let me just warn you. The way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. Agreed. Agreed on that. I'm gonna this a little bit more, actually. In order to fix a twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? What do you mean? Be careful. I mean the testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful. <clears throat> All right, Ryoma. Vent is open. I was the one who took off the grate and left it in the duct. Hmm. And we were keeping watch in the classroom this vent leads to. I don't think the culprit came in or out through through here, through there. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Library vent. This is the rear door. It's the furthest door from the stairs. It leads and it leads to the hallway where Kaido is standing, bro. Uh, By the way, this is a sliding door. See, it opens when you slide it. Uh, yes, okay. I saw that. Mm -hmm. You think Rantaro entered through this door? Uh, um, I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from the Monokudes. Mm. You're right. We'll just have to wait. It's the front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. We went through this door before we discovered Rantaro's body. Hmm. We entered the library through here and with Kaido and Tenko. 
Yeah. Yeah, we saw the moving bookcase close, and then we ran over. That's true. We found Rentaro's body behind that bookcase. Hmm. I wonder if Rentaro entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the mastermind did, too? That's... When we see the pictures after the monocub monocubs developed them, that will be clear. Aww. I guess all we can do is wait. Um, Kaide, I think we've investigated the entire library now. But we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't get any closer to the mastermind. You're right. The most important piece of evidence will be these those photos once you get those. But then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Mm. Keep investigating? That's true. Yes, I think we should re collect. We should collect alibis. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Rantaro was killed, 9, 10 p.m. I see. If that's the case, then who should we question? Kaido and Tanko. Mm -hmm. The six people that went down to the basement with Rantaro, Kaito, Gonta, not gonna be him, Maki, Tanko, Angie, and Himiko. Himiko when Himiko and, and and Angie would not have the power or the strength to throw the ball. So they're immediately off the list. Rantaro didn't do it, he's off the list. Now the only suspects are Ma I feel I feel like Maki could definitely do it. Maki, it's Maki, Gonta, and Kaido. Are the and, and Tanko are the prime suspects right now. I know it's not Gonta, so we take Gonta off. Now I'm left. I don't think it's Maki. I'm very fairly confident it's not Maki. Take Maki off. Now we're left with Tanko and Kaito. Those are my two prime suspect suspects right now. As far as this group's this group goes, I'm th th my two prime suspects. That's my logic behind this. We gotta do process of elimination. That's my process of elimination. Those two. They should have been in the game room along with Rentaro. Let's ask them about what happened there. Yeah. Okay, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. Who's in here? Yep. Okay. I don't think it's Maki, so... <clears throat> we'll talk to her and see what... She... Um. Maki, you were in the game room when Rentaro was killed, right? Hey! What were you What were you all doing down here? Rentaro was with you, right? Yeah, Where? The, what happened? Hey. Am I a suspect? Uh. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Why are you getting on... You should, you should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? Huh? Because... Someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. You don't know? So trust no one, Kaede. Or you'll lose, got it? I can't get a read on Maki at all. She just saw a dead body and she's perfectly calm. She's this game's Kyoko, bro. Like, minus the whole... Minus the whole, uh... Minus the detective shit, and minus her being a main character, because she's not. She's literally Kyoko. But why were you all here in the first place? They were planning. It was Kaido. It was Kaido's. It was Kaido's idea. He suddenly wanted to hold a strategy meeting and gathered us together, bro. He's trying to get them away from the body, man. It's oh my god. It's all pointing to him, bro. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. Not only that, but he already cheated death earlier on. I think it was like episode two. He cheated death that one time or three. I can't remember. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. I don't understand. And he picked seven people he thought would be useful in a fight. Seven people. Kaido, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Angie, and Rantaro. But that doesn't make sense, though, because if they went from there straight to the game room, which I'm hoping she discusses, if they went straight to the game room, it, I don't know if how it would be him. But, um, I'm not sure those seven would all be useful in a fight, though. I see. Kaido thought Himiko's magic and Angie's connection to Atua would be useful. Huh? But what about you, Maki? Why did he also pick the ultimate child caregiver? Because she's a... You know what? This is stupid. He just looked at me and said, Yeah, you probably know how to fight. <laughs> That's it? Jeez, that does sound like something Kaido would do, though. But... But why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? I don't know. Beats me. Maybe Kaido figured it would be harder for Monokuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence? Uh, um... And what was Rantar... And what was Rantar doing at the time? Why was he in the strategy meeting with you? That's true. He was. At first. But then he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. <sighs> Kaido and Tanko went looking for him so we could finish the meeting before time expired. Man, come on, bro! That must have happened around 9, 10 p.m. 9 p.m. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Well, never mind. Your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Kaido is definitely welcome to join. 
And did the four of you just wait in the game room the whole time? No. Nope. Angie, Himiko, and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Gonta never joined us. Huh? Huh? Gonta wasn't with you guys? <sighs> Gonta did arrive, but then he left and locked himself in the AV room in the back. Hmm. He was in the AV room by himself? Ew. Suspicious behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same way. Um. What other two? Like I'd know. Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. What, Angie and he, uh... Uh, what's her name? Hey, Sweetie, the AV room is, is that room in the back, right? Could it be? Kaede, have you never been in there before? Yeah. Nope, not yet. Anyway, let's go. Wait! Wait! Going to not murder anyone! Come on, man. I told you, we're not saying you did. We just want to talk. No. No. It's him, alright. He's got the face of a killer. No way! No, judge! Going to buy his outside! On inside! Going to gentlemen! Hey! Hey, what's going on here? Oh, hey there, Kaide. We're just trying to ask him. Yeah, uh, just tell us while you're still asking nicely. Are you or are you not the culprit? Yeah. Or are you not the culprit? Are you not the culprit? Huh? Going to not, not, no, uh... <sighs> it's just been this over and over. We can't move forward at all. Um. I think your questions are the problem. Then I'll change the question. Timmy buys five strawberries for 50 cents each time and what app may come on, bro. Jeez. It's totally off topic, Himiko. Do your own math homework. You know? Hey, Gonta, I talked to Maki earlier. You were in the bath and you were in the basement AV room alone the whole time, right? Hmm. But what were you doing here alone? Um Gonta happy to be invited to meeting, but Gonta think he not be much help because he's not smart. Bro, you're the biggest one here. They wanted fighters. Bugs are. So so Gonta in here alone, watching Bug Movie. Huh? Um, what? How does that help? Honest! Bug Movie for Gonta with fight. Make Gonta ready to fight Monokuma. I see. So it helps you fight. Okay, sure. You do you, Gonta. But you know. But why was it locked? Huh? What was locked? With my magic. You don't answer honestly. I'll change you into a girl with my magic. Huh? Huh? Gonta no can become girl Gonta, then Gonta never become gentleman. Jeez. Himiko, can you just shut the fuck up for a second? You're making this harder than it needs to be. Is that alright? Gonta, can you tell us what happened next? Gonta. Gonta just need focus. If Gonta no focus, Gonta no can fill up with fight. Honest. That it, really. Gonta just wanna protect everyone. I believe him, bro. I believe him, I believe, uh, Gonta, I believe you, bro. But. You guys not gonna believe Gonta, huh? Cause Gonta's so big and scary looking, huh? Whoa! Calm, calm down, you're making a really scary face. How can this be? Cause Gonta feels so useless. Um, after hearing his story, I can see why people would suspect him. But I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? Fuck no. Gonta not the mastermind. That's true. Kaede, let's investigate this room a little more. We also need to verify Gonta's alibi. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Going to watching both movies before going to a fight. So going to, going to okay. That sounds like a lie. Uh, that sounds like a lie. If you don't tell me, uh, I'll. Do it. Huh? If going to naked in public, then going to never become gentlemen. Oh, Mika, shut the fuck up. Stop saying ridiculous things. Going to just want protect everyone, really. Why? Why no one believe going to? Going to feel so pathetic. Alright, that got us nowhere. I'm not- I'm done talking to him. Let me talk to this bitch. A culprit is definitely going to- he's suspicious no matter how you look at it. No. No, it's still too early to determine that. There are a lot of things to consider. Yeah? yeah? Really? Why are you acting suspect, Himiko? Even so, it's definitely going to- he's suspicious no matter how you look at it. Mm. Um, no. Why don't you help him investigate before you decide that, Himiko? What a pain. Investigating is a pain. Gonta is suspicious, no matter how you look at it. This is the problem with Dinger Rumpa. It's always this bullshit right here. You have these characters that will talk the most during the trial. Suichi will say a total of four words during the trial. And all these characters that have no clue what they're talking about will just say random shit to throw you off. Got it? When it's like the people who actually know what's going on, don't say anything. Like, bro, you need to speak up. Like I said, you need to invest to do inve to investigate before you decide on that. Hell, use your magic all like for all I care. It's impossible. <laughs> magic shouldn't be used like that. It'll lead to corruption. You just can't do Jeez. magic. 
and stop being so lazy and put some actual effort into solving this. Shit. <clears throat> Let me talk to Kaido Suspect Taz. Damn. Jeez, I can't believe that happened right next door to our strategy meeting. You are... I, I'll, bro, I, I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Actually, I don't even hope I'm wrong. I don't even like Kaido, bro. Kaido, can you tell me more about this strategy meeting of yours? You gathered everyone to meet in the basement, right? Huh? What am I, one of your suspects now? Yeah, motherfucker, you are. Um. No, um, that's not what I'm... Nah, nah it's natural that you're suspicious of me. Of course. But I'm not the culprit. I swear it on the universe. Got it. I've got nothing to hide, so you can ask me anything. Yeah. Okay. Then, well, now that we have the chance, let's look at, back at the entire incident together. Kind of went to the scene with us, so he might have noticed something we missed. Got it. All right, then. Where should we start? Hmm. After Kaide and I set up the cameras, we were keeping watch from the classroom. Some time passed, and then we saw you guys go down to the basement. Hey. When did you start asking people to go with you? So. I don't remember the exact time, but I asked the one them one by one, and we all went to, there together. Okay. That's when we saw you. Okay, makes sense, yeah? Yep, alright, we know, we know. You know... Now that I think about it, the monitor started going off just before that. That creepy music made it hard to keep the strategy meeting going. Um... What, I want to confirm what you've told me so far. Everyone went to the game room for this meeting, and no one went to the library, right? Ah. Yeah, we went straight to the game room, right? but right after we went inside. Gonzo went into the AV room and wouldn't come out. Yeah. Yeah, Maki told me about that. So... After that, during the meeting, Rantaro left to go to the bathroom. But we thought it'd be bad if the meeting stopped, so me and Chenko went to get him back. And that's when we met up with you guys. Okay. But we had gone down to the basement because that security sensor receiver went off. Yeah. And right, and right when I was about to open the li library door, you guys called out to us. So after you and Chenko left the game room, H Himiko and Maki were still there, right? Got it. Yeah, I can guarantee it. No. However, I can't guarantee that Gonta was in there the whole time. I see. I see. So we can't confirm Gonta's alibi yet. Hey. The library's rear entrance is at the end of the hallway, correct? Did you see anyone in there? That's right. Well, I didn't get a good look, but I'm sure I would have noticed if someone was in there. Jeez. And I opened the door to the library with you guys and found Rentaro's dead body. That's just about how it went. We didn't learn any new information, though. Come on, man. So I'm not cleared as your sus suspicion yet, huh? No. Ah, don't worry. You're not a likely suspect. D game, stop playing with me, bro. Ass. Hey, that's not something a detective would say. Huh? What? Listen up. If you suspect me, you better pursue it to the end. Investigate until you're satisfied. If you don't do that, you'll never reach the truth. Rantaro will have just died for no reason. Got it. This is where you need to let your ultimate talent shine. Suichi. Yeah. Anyway, if you notice something or remember anything, let us know. Of course! Well, I'm not planning on leaving it all to you guys. I'll investigate it my own, my own way. A speaker? We can... What's he... I bet this huge speaker produces some high-quality sound, but that's not relevant now. If he was watching a movie, ask if they could hear the speaker! Because then that means he was actually watching a movie! Hold on, is there a vent? There's also a vent down there. It's a screen. For the projector, but the projector is turned off. That's true. If you roll up the screen, you could use it as a long pull of a, a long pull of sorts. Ah, oh, shit! My um, headphones are starting to die. Mm, so what? No. I was just thinking that it could be used for something. Used how? <laughs> Sometimes you say some weird things, Suichi. Must be a detective quirk of yours. Uh, okay. Uh, you think so? Sorry. You can treat it as me talking to myself. You can use it as a pull. Oh, it's a video player. I thought it was a damn vent. <clears throat> A video player for watching movies. There's no video inside, though. This doesn't have anything to do with the case. There's no movie inside! How the fuck was he watching the B-movie? There are a lot of movies crammed in the bookcase. Uh, oh, The Legend of 1900. I've always wanted to see this film. That's... The one with the paint pianist that has eyes like a dead fish, right? Huh? This film won the rewards for its phenomenal music. U.S. Audience were, audiences were moved to tears. Really? Well, Americans do tend to get emotional. Huh? What are they trying to say, bro? What else do they have here, hmm? I grabbed the movie out of random and the case was covered with pictures of naked men and women. Um, let me see. Not the men, but let me see. The, uh, find any movies over there? Oh, uh, nothing suspicious over here. Let's go look somewhere else. Let me what see. Happened? What's wrong? Did you see something? That's wrong. I said it's nothing. There's nothing here but a bunch of mo movies. I, I mean movies. Wait. Kade, you're panicking. It's okay if you found a clue. You can tell me. Here, let me look. Oh, 
Jeez. No, don't come over here. A couple of minutes later, we were both looking down at the floor with beat red faces. Let me what? see, bro! Why didn't you let me see? I told you. Sorry. Let's investigate something else. Come on, man. Why did they let me see? This door is different than the one we used to enter the game room. Uh, D is this connected to the hallway? You're right. It seems that way. Let's check. Yeah. It's a sliding door. I'll open it. I tried to open it, but... Huh? Huh? That's weird. It doesn't open all the way. It's the door from the beginning of the game. I knew this was gonna... Looks like it wasn't installed right. I can only stick my arm through. Hmm. I can see the hallway on the other side, but I suppose it's not possible to use this door. This is the door we saw in the first episode, bro! No. No, no. If it's going to, it doesn't matter if the door was stuck. This is the door we saw at the beginning. Damn, that motherfucker is strong. He's strong enough to throw that super heavy manhole cover. That's right. Yeah, he could eat this door for breakfast. Go to never do that! Going to not eat door for breakfast? Breakfast, most important meal of any gentleman's day. Okay. I agree. Huh? Huh? You think Gonta could eat this door? No. Ah, uh, no, not that. I mean, I don't think he did anything like that. Look at this. Is that all right? There's dust piled up on the railing of the door. Sliding hasn't moved in a while. Mm. So then, he just forced his way through the gap. Fool. Fool. Mm. It's not possible. There's maybe enough space for a basketball to fit through. I guess an arm could fit through as well if it were thin enough, as well as the freaking thing that you could roll up. So then he probably used magic that makes you slim and keeps the fat off. I hate her, bro. She's Gonta no can use magic. Okay. Oh, I can use magic. Bro, the f <sighs> he should never have anything important to say. What's the matter? What's the matter, Suichi? No. Nothing, just something I want to confirm. I'm going to try the sliding door one more time. I Look. knew it. I thought so. Look, you can see the rear entrance to the library from here. The store and the rear entrance are located straight across from one another. Um, so what? That's... I'm not sure if it matters yet, but it is a little concerning. Concerning? How? The pole. Add the pole, bro. The pole. Hmm. I think we've investigated everything here, too. Mm -hmm. Then what should we do next? Hey. For now, let's ask others some questions. There are still people we haven't talked Aww. to. This would, be done with, this would be done with if we had the pictures. We wouldn't have to waste our time like this. We already know who the mastermind is. Hmm. That's true, but we shouldn't wait around and do nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's everything here. We got. Oh, I remember now. We have to go talk to the other people to find alibis and stuff. We already talked to Maki. She kind of bad, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I like her. She kind of clean. Oh, Tenko, I wanted to ask you something. We asked Tenko about what happened in the game room, but she only confirmed what Maki had told us and didn't provide any new information. Mm-hmm. I That's see. Right. I knew it! Gonta would be the most suspicious since he locked himself in the AV room! Not to mention he's also a male! Hmm. Um, are you submitting that as evidence? Hey! By the way, how has your investigation been going? No! I haven't done any investigating! Huh? What? Degenerate male! Hey, degenerate! Don't give me that face! I've been doing something else! I've been watching Angie! Huh? Watching Angie? Listen up! We agreed to investigate with one other person, right? But Angie's just been wandering around alone. I see. Ah, that's why you're with Angie. Um, I don't want to suspect anyone either, but girls' lives are at stake here. Okay. For an investigation like this to work, we have to trust each other. <clears throat> oh, she does not look happy right now. What the fuck is that oh, face? Degenerate don't act nails. all high and mighty with me, you two-faced degenerate. No. Ah, sorry, that wasn't my intention. Don't apologize, bro. She's calling you a bum, man. She's being sexist. God damn, don't apologize. Be like, man, what did you just call me? Say it to my face, huh? Say it to my face. <laughs> She's the Aikido master, though. Loki, I'll get fucked up. Uh, talk to me. Hey. What are you doing? You're not gonna investigate, Angie? I... Investigating is important, but I gotta say say my prayers to Atua, too. Amen. <sighs> Please let Rentaro enter heaven safe and sound. Hey. I suppose a prayer couldn't hurt. Mm. Rentaro died in such a gruesome way. Would he be able to go to <laughs> Would he be able to go to heaven in peace? It'd be nice if he could. It'll be okay. Don't worry, I'll pray hard. If I pray hard enough, I'll earn enough points to become a platinum disciple. Huh? Sounds like a credit card rewards program. Man, get out of my face with that, bro. She is useless. All right, um... <gasps> Kaede, Suichi, I would like to ask you two a question. You were on lookout inside this classroom, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, from here we could keep an eye on the basement, and it was close to the library too. Right. That's our alibi. We were both in this classroom when the murder occurred. I see. You. <laughs> I see. Then the probability that you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, were you two together the entire time? No. No, I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement. But besides that, we were together the whole time until the receiver went off. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. I understand. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey. Is that all you wanted to ask? Um. Oh, may I ask one more question, specifically about that vent? Yeah. By the way, it appears to be connected to this classroom. Yeah, we know this. Ah, the air duct in the basement hallway leads to it. That's... Yes, I was also concerned about this vent. That's why we kept watching watching the classroom. That's right. Because the culprit wouldn't be able to use the vent if they were here on lookout. That's right. Under those circumstances, it would be... Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library from here. Okay. Kaede stacked up books in front of the library vent as well. But those in a way, it would, it would be even harder for someone to go in and out. I'll commit that to my memory. Really? I'll be sure to save that important piece of my information to my memory bank. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, my line of questioning has not offended either of you. It is necessary so that we may find the truth. Mm. Ke uh, Weibo, you totally sounded like a detective or a lawyer just now. Uh. Well, maybe you were a detective or a lawyer in a past life. <laughs> a, a past life? How oh, could I have a past life when I'm not made of human components? Let's talk to this creepy ass motherfucker, bro. I know you're gonna do that. Let me guess. You wish to hear my alibi, yes? Huh? Huh? How'd you know? You see. My appearance and actions thus far suggest I am someone who would commit a murder. At least he's self-aware, because this this dude is creepy. Well. So, to briefly state the truth, when the body discovery announcement played, I was in the dining hall eating supper. Ah, yes. The other people with me were Miyu, Kirumi, and Tsumugi. Mona Cubs prepared the meal for me. It was listed on the menu as pasta that tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake, or some such. Mm. That pasta sounds depressing. So you understand. That concludes my alibi. I do hope it can be of some help. Hey, what about the people around you? Did you notice anything in particular? Yes. Ah, if there was something to note, it would be that Miu was tinkering with something or not or other. There was also a brief period of time where Samugi left to use the restroom. Mm. The restroom, huh? Interesting. Well, Samugi is the ultimate cosplayer. She could have gone to the bathroom to secretly disguise herself as someone else? What? Uh, um... Someone else but who? Yeah. I don't know, I'll go talk to her. She could- she should be at the crime scene of the library. <sighs> what? She, there's no way she would- Bro, no, 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 no. Alright, go to the library. Oh god, what the freak? That was not there before. It's what? What is this demonic ass shit? What? Did, are you stupid? Is she stupid? Is she dumb? How dumb is she? Look at that demonic man. Come on. Let's ask the two what they were doing when the body discovery nuts have played. Hey, Weibo, what were you doing and where and where during the body discovery announcement? Hmm. Ah, my alibi. What the fuck is that? What is he doing? Huh? Um, are you glitching right now? Well. No, I'm just searching for the right words. I, in all honesty, I was alone in my room, so I admit my alibi is not altogether reliable. So you don't have an alibi? <gasps> but Ryoma said he was alone in his room too. Aww. Jeez, where to throw him under the bus? Huh? Uh, that was not my intention. Kiba and Ryoma have an alibi. That means it's possible one of those two is the mastermind. Um, um, am I under suspicion because I don't have an alibi? No. No, I won't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. Of course. And I'm not saying that because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. Thank you very much. <laughs> but you don't need to be so PC. No idea what you're saying. All right, Weibo's okay. account. Putting aside the thing about Tsumugi, now we know everyone's alibi. Huh? What about Kokichi? No. We don't need to ask him. He was definitely alone. Everyone we talked to hadn't seen him, so no one would corroborate his alibi, right? That means he must have been alone. I see. Oh, you're right. I guess that's why you're a detective and I'm not. <laughs> Creepy ass. Uh... Uh, 
Uh, hey. Hey, Samugi, I need to ask you something. Uh, Don't play now, bruh. Come uh, on. She looks like she's busy thinking about something. She won't talk to me. Uh, okay, but that's no excuse to give up. I, gra I grabbed the hem of Tsumugi's skirt and began to lift slowly. What? Got it? I'm gonna lift your cert skirt, Tsumugi. You okay with that? Can I see? Uh. Wait, Kaede. <laughs> you better talk or I'm gonna lift your skirt for Suichi to see. Suichi, don't say anything, bro. And then I'm gonna tie your skirt around your head so everyone can see your... I understand. Damn it! I understand. I just need to talk, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, it took you long enough. Well, I can't let Suichi's innocent eyes get dirty. That's wrong. You can let mine, though. Ah, no, they won't get dirty. Suichi. <laughs> Are you saying you've seen dirtier Suichi? What's wrong? What did you want to talk about? You know? I'm just going to cut to the chase, since you're the ultimate cosplayer. That means you could disguise yourself as anyone, even one of us, right? Uh... Oh, so that's what you think of me. Oh, so that's what you think of me. Well, since we're in this situation, I'll be clear. That's impossible. I I only cosplay as fictional characters. I don't cosplay real people, or rather, I can't. Um, you can't isn't easy to just wear. Isn't it easy to just wear someone else's clothes as a disguise? And you can't. Cosplay isn't a disguise. Huh? Uh, sorry. I guess. Well, you'll probably have a hard time believing me if I say it, so I'll show you. Um, show me how. Um, Come on, Kaede. Uh, uh, wait. What the hell's going on? What is going? <laughs> what is going on, bro? So Mugi grabbed my hand and dragged me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. What am I... <laughs> what am I about to see, bro? Oh, sh okay, thank um, God. Are you gonna punch me or tie me up? Hey, now. Hey, now. There's a way I'd do... There, there's no way I'd do a thing like that. Hey. Now hurry up and tip. <sighs> huh? <clears throat> uh... Huh? Huh? But... Right? Come on, come on, hurry up! Huh? <laughs> I slowly undressed and handed my clothes to Samugi. After telling me to look the other way, I waited while she changed into my clothes. Yeah. Okay, now you can look. Huh? The fuck am I looking at? <clears throat> A what? Hi, I'm Kaede Akamatsu. She looks like a freaking alien. Uh, uh, this isn't cosplay of the spiky headed underling of a certain space emperor. This is cosplay, an allergic reaction that happens when I dress up as real people. What? This is the price for my power, the equivalent exchange for my cosplay. Uh, okay, I get it. Change out of my clothes already. We exchanged our clothes and then returned to the library where Suichi was waiting. Damn, bro, I was, I was thinking, I was, I thought something else was gonna happen there. What happened? Kaede, what's wrong? Uh, Samugi couldn't have disguised herself. Yeah. You understand, since you saw the cospox, right? Cosplay is love. You're right. You breathe, li you breathe life into characters. It's almost like you're summoning them from fiction into the real world, like an oracle cha channeling the gods. That's why I can cosplay various characters from across the wide world of fiction. But it's impossible to cosplay someone who exists in the real world. Because that's not cosplay, it's just impersonating someone. I really didn't need that long explanation. Yes! Clash trial time! Huh? Huh? This chime? Clash trial. It's time, you bastards. Time for the long-awaited class trial. Not that. No, it's not. We're just announcing that the photos are ready. Don't interrupt me. Ah, damn. Anyway, I'll be waiting at the warehouse. Hey, does my face look weird to you? Does my face always look this weird? So long, Damn, bro, that doesn't mean class trial. I'm gonna end the video when we get to the class trial. Did you hear that, Suichi? The pictures have finally been developed. Let's go, come on. Get a move on. Ah, uh, wait, Kaede. The warehouse. We gotta go to the warehouse. I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse. I couldn't stay put, knowing that the truth was so close at hand. Wait. Ah, uh, wait, Kaede. You shouldn't get so worked up. Please. I can't help it. We're so close to learning the truth. We're gonna find out who the mastermind is. 
Rising Shiner sign! This is gonna be her. Why is it all of them, bro? I don't need all these cornballs here, bro. I just need. Oh, you came! We're intruding! Sure did. I came to see you, Toots. You're as lovely as always. Oh, Manasuke, you're such a flirt. Uh, may I join you for a drink? What are you saying? Drink as much as you want. I've got a cat. I've got cash to burn. Thank you. Excuse me, can we get a bottle here? <laughs> this is great. Oh, hey, how long are you guys gonna do this for? Let's take these. Okay, it's all the photos. They're separated in envelopes for each camera. Use them to take that bastard down. It's all up up to you now. Dead. Dead. Dumbass. I'm so rich. What's a journalist gonna do about it? Nothing, that's what. By the way, Monofani, wanna get out of here after your shift ends? <laughs> I want a fancy steak dinner. What's your, what's your name and age? Home District Stallery? Do you have another job? All right, come on, bro. Enough with this. Thank you. Enough with this filler, bro. Enough with this filler. I'm not trying to see all that. Uh, um, anyway, it looks like we have the pictures now. Yeah. Finally. Look at them. Nah, why is everybody here, bro? Come uh -huh. on. Kaida, are those the developed photos? Right? The culprit should be in those photos, right? <laughs> nee hee hee. How exciting. I want to see the dumb look on the culprit's face. Alright. Alright, let's take a look. Um. Let's look at the photos taken by the camera. Do the front entrance first. The envelope says front entrance has a total of four pictures. Let's see the first picture. Okay, this is when we arrived at the library, so it took a picture then. Okay, this so this isn't out of the ordinary. This is just normal. Yeah, yeah. This was right before we found Rentaro's body. <clears throat> That's a pretty bad picture of me, but don't focus on it too much, okay? But of course. <laughs> Rest assured, we do not care. Mm. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, let's go to the next one. Um. Um. This is. Okay, so this is. What? Is this? It's a picture of us running into the library after we heard Tanko scream. After we heard Tanko scream, why didn't you mention this? That doesn't help us at all. Hurry up and show us the next picture. What do you mean? Yeah. Don't listen to her! What do you mean? Elaborate! It seems as if... This is everyone who else who... This is everyone else who came to the library after the body discovery announcement. Bro! Yeah. Everyone pictured here, myself included, was... <laughs> On our way to the basement, myself included. You had to mention that because this motherfucker barely fits. So we got here. They're a bit late. You know. Hey, these these are all pictures of when we found the body. Hmm. There is one more photo of the front entrance, correct? Yeah. yeah let's take a look at that one. Huh? Huh? Suichi. Oh. Uh, sorry. It looks like I tripped one of the sensors when I was removing the cameras. What are you saying? Nah, but look at how creepy he looks here, bro. <laughs> um, this picture doesn't seem to have any clues that will help us either. That He looked creepy as hell there. <clears throat> Your point at the front end just only snapped these four pictures. The one with Maki, the one with Maki was talking about was... Oh, wait, no. Okay, I see what she was talking about now. Okay. Neither Rentaro nor anyone else who could be the culprit are in the photos. Hey. Did they both enter through the back door then? That is correct. Let's examine the photos taken by the camera near the rear entrance yeah. then. When the two photos were taken by the camera pointed at the rear entrance. Let's see the first picture. Uh. Rentaro, he went through the back. I knew it. So Rent Sir Rentaro went in through the rear entrance, perhaps no one would- so perhaps no one would see him. I see. I thought it might be possible that he was moved to the library after being murdered. Not possible, and there was no blood, like Scott. But that does not appear to be the case. If so... So that means he was killed in the library after getting there of his own will. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Maybe it'll show the mastermind. <clears throat> it's gonna sh- Ugh, go huh? It's fucking Suichi, bro. Sorry. Ugh, sorry, me again. This is from when I was removing the camera. Come on, bro. Uh, what an attention hog. No. He had no choice. To remove the cameras, he had to be close to the sensors. Um. 
That's all for the rear entrance. Just these two photos. No, Culper not in rear entrance photo either? Why? Whoa, what does this mean? They're not in either the front or entrance or rear entrance pictures? The Oh my god. Yeah, that's pretty odd. Why isn't there a picture of the mastermind entering? Hey. Hey, Suichi, don't you think that's weird? Uh, um, Let's look at the pictures from the hidden door camera. That might tell us something. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> the camera should have captured the moment the mastermind opened the door. I hope that was the case as I removed the photos from the envelope. There were two photos. The first one was... Uh. <sighs> Rantaro is... Okay, so Rantaro... Is closing it or is he opening it? Hmm. But if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, then... He must have known about the hidden door. He must have known about the hidden door. Could it be? Could the culprit have gone into the hidden door? I see. Yes, that is a possibility. Do you understand? For now, let us let us see the next picture. There is one remaining, isn't there? Sweetie, this better not be you, bro. Sweetie, I swear. Huh? What? This is when he died. So this is right before he died. This is 100% right before he ended up dying. Are those feet in the background? What is that? Or is that just a desk? Damn, that's just a desk, bro. I thought those were feet, bro. You guys see those over there? I thought those were feet. Huh? What's Rantaro doing? Yeah. Looks like he's researching, reaching for the camera. Maybe he was trying to remove it. Ah. Oh. Ah, I did notice something while I was removing the camera. The blood? The security sensor for this camera was switched off. Oh, okay. Oh man, it was switched off, so he died after he switched it off. He literally covered up his own death, bro. If so. In that case, this photo was likely taken just before the sensor was turned off. By himself. Mm. But that would mean that Rentaro noticed it. He saw our hidden camera. By the way. Moving the bookcase triggers the sensor, which in turn activates the camera, right? The bookcase appears to have already been moved, so why did the sensor activate? I don't get it. Who cares? What happened to the culprit? How come they're not in any of these photos? Oh, this last photo must have been taken shortly before Rantaro was killed. However, if so, then the culprit should be pictured right behind him in this photo. And why is the culprit nowhere to be seen? That's all the photos. So we gain no new clues, and we still don't know who the culprit is. <laughs> what a fucking waste. Why? Did she really develop all the photos? Maybe she got rid of the ones that showed the culprit. She, she's gonna confirm. How rude! I developed all the film that I was given! I swear by my almighty daddy that I did! You Those are the photos from the hidden camera, so relax and get to deducing! Don't screw around. These are seriously all the pictures? You gotta be kidding me! The culprit's not in any of them! Kaido, I'm still looking at you crazy, bro. If the culprit didn't go into the library, then how'd they kill Rantaro? Yeah, so this must be what they call a perfect crime. Huh? A perfect crime? I'm disappointed. Oh man, I've only been slacking off because I thought these photos would reveal the culprit. Uh, no. You should have been helping us investigate. By oh, by the way. Hmm. Rantaro had his monopad on him the whole t the whole time, didn't he? Do you think anything was in it? I do not agree. The student handbook did not contain much in the way he pertinent information. Well, I doubt it has anything to do with the case. He simply had his monopad with him. Okay. I suspected his monopad, but I didn't find anything suspicious about it. Oh, man. Oh, man. So it's got nothing to do with the case? How confusing. Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? Uh... Why aren't they in the pictures? If the mastermind had these photos, it would have solved everything. Probably because they threw it from outside the room. So they sniped his ass. How the hell? Uh, um... Kaede. They sniped his bitch ass. Please, class trial. All right. It's yeah! What we've all been waiting for. The class trial. Please assemble in front of the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. The Remember that red door surrounded by plants? It's just on the other side. Yo, I got no idea what he's talking From about. From there, you'll be escorted to a delightful class trial. <laughs> See you all there. 
Okay. And with that, we're gonna end today's dang romp video here. I'm gonna do the class trial now, but I'm gonna cut this one here in half. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the content. And the next dang romp video, we're gonna start the class trial. We're not gonna finish it, because I know the class trials are really long. So we'll get kind of halfway there. We're gonna see what's gonna go on. I'm sure there's gonna be some plot twists and stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, folks, capture moments, create memories. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.